Let's start today's program with a question. This is a glass of petrol. This is diesel. Bread, sugar, and sugar beet. These five substances have two properties in common. What could they be? The first common property, all five of these five substances give energy. When diesel and petrol are burnt, energy is obtained. Transport vehicles run on their energy. Bread, sugar, and sugar beet. These are a source of energy for humans and all living things. The first thing they have in common is that they give energy. The main ingredient of all of them are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The electrons of all atoms are identical. Their neutrons and protons are the same. These five substances are composed of common elements. What makes petrol and diesel different is that they lack oxygen. Petrol has short carbon chains, diesel has long chains, but they are the same elements. Using various bonds, these three elements form these materials. The same atoms have changed their form by bonding differently. There is a structural difference. The formula is different. This is what it means to make many things from one thing. The common feature of these five things is that they are all composed of the same elements and they give off energy. Everything that moves on the earth is powered by them. These vehicles run on petrol or diesel. When they burn, they generate power or energy. These are called carbohydrates. Bread and sugar are carbohydrates. There's no difference between eating bread or sugar in terms of getting energy. They're diluted and concentrated in forms of energy content, less in one and more in the other. All living things primarily use sugar for energy. Even if a person stands still, hundreds of machines are at work in their body. In a car, when the journey is over, you switch off the engine. And the car stops moving, life stops. The human body is like a car that always has the ignition on and the engine does not stop. It is very quiet, it cannot be heard from the outside. The moment it stalls, we die. It starts working in the womb. Machines in the body require energy to function. For example, how much sugar does a person burn if they run for one minute? Using the formulas for force and work, we find that it consumes 35.6 joules of energy. What does this correspond to? With an appropriate calculation, 0.010626 gram sugar is burnt. One grain of sugar is 0.006 grams. This means that 18 grams of granulated sugar are burnt in one minute of running. This is what 18 grains of granulated sugar looks like. Motorized vehicles cannot use energy efficiently. Most of the energy is lost to heat, exhaust gases, and friction. But the human body uses energy with maximum efficiency. The problem for the human body is excess energy. It is eating food that contains more energy than it expends. For this reason, you need to run for 20 minutes to burn the energy of a 40 gram slice of baklava. White sugar is formed by the combination of one glucose and one fructose molecule. Bread gives energy as a result of wheat turning into glucose after many processes. Glucose is the fuel of our body's engine, especially our brains, and our main energy source. Not only humans, but all living things work with sugar. In fact, nature runs on sugar is a scientific motto. Bread is produced from wheat. What about white sugar? 80% of the white sugar consumed in the world comes from sugar cane. 20% comes from sugar beet. Eight kilos of this sugar beet yields one kilo of granulated sugar. Here is a sugar factory. The beets are sliced thinly. They dissolve in water and steam. Unwanted substances are precipitated with lime. 
Excess water is evaporated away at low temperature. Crystallization is achieved. The crystals are dried and sugar. This is how sugar is produced. When we say sugar factories, we're actually saying it wrong. People can't produce sugar. People cannot synthesize sugar molecules by combining the right atoms. We only purify sugar from sugar beet. Producing sugar means synthesizing the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms in molecules that make up sugar. That's not what's happening at the sugar factory. The sugar is stripped from the sugar beet. So why don't scientists synthesize molecules? The world's smallest works of art. Art is performed in an area the size of a pinhole. It's not easy to see. These are the world's smallest works of art in the Guinness Book of Records. This one is drawn on a strand of hair. It's done under a special microscope. Now, let's travel to a grain of sugar. The sugar particle weighs 0.006 grams. This is a model of a sugar molecule. It has carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. How many of these molecules are there in this sugar particle? 1.75 times 10 to the 18th power sugar molecules. 10 to the 18th power is one quintillion. There are 1.75 quintillion sugar molecules in a tiny grain of sugar. The world's population is 8 billion. Would it be enough if we distributed 100 of these sugar molecules to all the people in the world? It would be more than enough. The surplus is 2 million times more than what we distribute. Our imagination is not enough to comprehend the art performed in this small and narrow space. Molecules are not flat pictures. It's not like a 3D model. Each of the atoms that make up the molecule is surrounded by electrons spinning at 2,200 kilometers per second. Each of the atoms that make up the molecule is surrounded by electrons spinning at 2,200 kilometers per second. Atoms surrounded by electrons traveling at 2,200 kilometers per hour are synthesized. The structure of the molecules change and we see petrol. It comes out as diesel. The structure of the molecules change and sugar appears. And it comes out as bread in the processed form. It comes out as sugar raw material. Thousands of different products from only three types of atoms. This is a creation in which trillions of molecules are designed and synthesized in an area the size of a sugar crystal. And this creation takes place in the darkness of the soil. The fuel that people use in transport vehicles is stored underground as trillions of barrels of oil. The energy to be used by humans and other living beings comes from the plant world. It is renewed every season. It is constantly being created every moment. <laughs>